Hi guys, this is not only your smartphone from the house of Samsung that is Samsung Galaxy Ace Plus S7500. This is basically Indian version of smartphone which Samsung has released recently. And now in this video we will be checking out on how you can update with the latest update which Samsung has just released. So to check the updates all you need to do is first up you need to press on this menu bar, menu soft key which you are seeing right now on your screen and then tap on the settings option and then about phone and about phone you'll find various options which are there given on your screen in this just tap on software update option but hey just wait but before this you need to ensure that your data connection is turned on that your 3g connection or your wi-fi connection so after enabling any of these options just tap on update after which it will check for updates if there are any with the help of Samsung server. So now as you can see that on your screen it's connecting to the server. So it has found an update of 19.55 MB. And now it will take some time for it to download the update first of all. And it all depends upon your data speed on how much faster the download can be finished. In the process of update, please ensure that you are not turning off the device. And also before proceeding, you need to ensure that your phone is at least charged with 60% of the battery charge because there is a high probability that the charge may get lost faster in the process of firmware update. So as you can see that the firmware is still being downloaded in your phone. Just in case if you have already rooted your device and or on the beta firmware or the custom firmware you will not be getting the software update over the air but very soon on androidvices.com we will be soon coming up with a detailed tutorial on how to update this firmware version manually as well so stay tuned for the same so as you can see that the update process is still being processed still being downloaded Still, as you can see that a tiny pointer timer has been given over here which shows that it, it will just need more than a minute for downloading this update at this current data speed. Ensure that the data connection is not lost in the process of downloading this update. And it's preferred to download this update or apply this update only via Wi-Fi and not on your data connection because there are chances that the data connection may interrupt the process of software download due to various reasons, due to network reasons. So as you can see that on your screen, it's less than 35 seconds remaining for downloading this update. The update which this has received just now is also a 2.3.6 gingerbread version but only there are minor fixes which have been done in this build so as to give you much more better battery life and minimal optimal changes. So now as you can see that on your screen the firmware has been successfully downloaded in your phone. Now you will be finding two options one is install and one is later. So just tap on install. So once you tap on the same, it will prompt you that the software update has been done and the device will now be rebooted. So just tap on OK or else it will automatically reboot the device within 5 seconds. So now as you can see that the device is being turned off. Now it's turning back on. So now the one which you are seeing right now on your screen is a recovery mode in which the system is applying the updates
ensure that you are not pressing any of the keys as being told on your screen right now for it there is a high probability that the update will not be applied and also in a rare case the device also may get bricked as you can see on your screen that the update is still being applied it will take around any any time between uh, 3 to 5 minutes for applying this update it all depends upon the data which is there in your phone just in case if the phone is new it will take around 2 to 3 minutes or else if there are any applications which are there in your phone then it may take longer time but then ensure that whatever the case is you are not turning off the source or the phone as it may hamper the process of firmware update so as you can see that the still the firmware update process going on Just in case if you are wondering if Samsung will ever release the Ice Cream Sandwich official version for this phone, then unfortunately Samsung will not be receiving, will not be sending out this update. And also there will be no value pack update as well, as Samsung 2 has clarified on that. But not to worry, you will be coming up with many custom ROMs and other things on the site. So ensure that you are stay tuned on AndroidVersus.com. So as you can see that the phone is now rebooting as the firmware application process has been successfully completed. So straight away you can see that the phone is now being turned on. So that's it. So this is a home screen which are seeing it right now. Let's check out the version which it has been updated with. Press the menu key and then to the settings. And then tap on the about phone. So as you can see that previously it was DDLB1 and now the updated version is DDLC1. So once you check the version, it will also prompt you that the device is updated with the latest firmware. So that, that's it from us. Stay tuned for more updates.